welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to tackle the cabinet that I keep all of my storage containers. It is a total mess in there. I have so many containers, way more than I could possibly ever use at one time. So my goal is to get rid of probably about half of those and make it so that um, there's less in there, it's simplified and much easier for me to want to put things back and keep things where they belong. It'll just be a better situation as far as keeping up for me, for my husband, and for my children. So let's take a look inside. Okay, before I open these cabinets, I'm going to warn you, this is not for the faint of heart. It may scare you a little. Don't let it scare you. We're going to take care of it and make it better. Okay, as you can see, I have bins in there, so I have tried to have some type of organization. Just what I'm doing is just not working because as you can see, they're all stacked on top of each other. And then over here, <laughs> I have Water Bottle Central. There's so many water bottles and we don't use half of those. So those need to come out and I need to get rid of a bunch also. So the first thing I'm going to do is empty this out up onto the counter so that we can take a better look at what I have. Okay guys, this is so shocking to me. All of this stuff was in that one little cabinet. I cannot believe how much stuff I had shoved under there. Oh yeah, we're purging, for sure. So, the cabinet is down here. It's all empty and nice. I've swept it out so it's ready to go. So now, my daughter, Allie Jo, and I are going to go through all of this and purge out what we feel like we can get rid of. So, stick with us. So we're going to get started and my daughter Allie Jo is going to be joining me to help me go through all the water bottles. <laughs> so, okay, okay, let's start. So this one I think we should keep. Okay. Because I use this for chocolate milk. So we're keeping, we're putting the keep pile over here. Okay, that sounds good. And then this turvis I think we should keep. And then all the ones that we just recently got for Christmas I think we should keep. Okay. some of the lids and I kept these to, with the lids on them because I use them for my husband's lunches and it's nice to just be able to grab one out in the morning with the lid already attached. We also 
significantly decrease our water bottles. Um, we do use water bottles quite a bit because my kids um, run cross country and take dance class and so we're constantly taking water bottles with us. So it is nice to have a few. We just didn't need as many as we had. The first things I'm going to put back are things like this. Um, I'm going to put them on the top shelf just because we don't use them very often. So I think by storing them up there, I can still get to them, but I won't need to climb down here to get them um, too often. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to put in is my casserole dishes, and I think I can stack them right on top of this one. And then this one should fit right in there. I'm not sure. This lid goes with one of my round casserole dishes that matches this set. And I know I didn't get rid of it, but it's not in here. So I am going to hold on to it. I'm going to sit it up here and hold on to it. See if I can find it. Because I have a feeling that it's around here somewhere. So I consolidated all of those to that area. Okay. So next I'm going to put all of my containers in. Hmm. There's my lids. Okay, I'm not sure I'm going to store these in the back. And I have one more container to go back there because he took his lunch today, so that will be returning. Now these little containers, what I use these for, when I send my husband's lunch with him, I put, um, like if I send him with a baked potato, I can put butter in these, I can put dressing for salads, I can put condiments if I send him with a sandwich, I can put some mayonnaise or ketchup or mustard in there for him to take. And then his sandwich doesn't get soggy um, and before lunchtime, so he can pull these out and put that on when he gets ready to eat his lunch. Okay, now this container I rarely use, but it is very handy when I make a big batch of cookies or want to take something, cupcakes somewhere. So I'm going to actually put it underneath these because I don't need to get to it very often. So it's okay to have it up on top. separate these out. I have another glass container that's this size that I have in the refrigerator right now with cantaloupe in it. So that will go underneath this container when that comes out. So I think this looks really great. So far, so good. We'll see how this works over the next couple of weeks. Um, and I'll let you know. I need to put my uh, water bottles back in. Let's go under there. 
This is Chino's nifty neat little water bottle. What you do is you put the water in here and then when you take them to the dog park you can turn this sideways and just open that up and the water pulls in, pours into the dish. And then whatever that they don't drink you just turn it sideways and it all goes back in the bottle and you can close the lid. So it is a handy dandy little thing. We use that a lot in the summertime. I think that looks really great. Okay guys, tell me what you think in the comments below and let me know if you would have done something differently or if you have any suggestions, I would really appreciate it. Thanks, see you next time.